The Killer Joke is one of Monty Python's most famous sketches. It involves a joke that is so funny that anyone who reads it or hears it immediately dies. The joke is translated into German to be used as a weapon against Nazi forces during the Second World War. Never in the sketch do we actually get an English version of the joke, presumably to protect the audience. However, what if we just translated the joke ourselves? Well, there's two problems with that. One, Google's in on the joke. If you try to put the joke into Google Translate, it will pop up with fatal error. And secondly, the joke is complete gibberish. Well, not complete gibberish. It's a bunch of German-esque words and grammar words, so therefore we could just brute force translate the joke into a reconstructed form. That is what I'm going to be doing in this video. The joke is as follows. Wenn ist das nun Stück, geht und Schlottermeier. Ja, bei und das oder die Flipperwald gersput. Of course, to the audience, a large part of the joke is that it is gibberish. However, I think there's a couple of in-universe reasons for the gibberish. The first is that when they are translating the joke from English to German, each translator is only allowed to see one word to protect their health. As stated in the skit, some of the translators saw two words of the joke and had to spend a couple of weeks in the hospital. So because each person has only done one word, the final product is going to be a mess. It is not going to be a coherent standard German sentence. It is also possible that the gibberish is intentional to protect German-speaking British soldiers who presumably learned Hochdeutsch or standard German. So therefore, they are not going to understand those gibberish words and they will be protected from the capabilities of the joke. I think it's also possible that the gibberish is meant to mock dialectal speech. Therefore, the killer joke would essentially be a cultural joke of sorts. The words that are real are wenn, when, ist, is, das, the, und, and, ja, yes, das Oder, which it should be die Oder, a river on the eastern border of Germany with Poland. And the words that are not real are Nunstuck, Git, Schlottermeier, Bayerhund, Flipperwald, and Gersput. It should be noted that the way these words are spelled in the skit means that they are not real German words, but we're going to try anyways. The first of these is Nunstuck. Now, this is very similar to the word Frühstück, which means breakfast. So, my guess is the person who translated this word in the skit meant to put the word Mittagsessen, lunchtime. Because even though Nun means now in German, it sounds like the English word Noon. My guess is that this is just a translation mistake for the word lunch. Git sounds most like Gipt, which would be used in German alongside S to form S Gipt, or there is. So, uh, because I have nothing better to put for this word, I'm just going to assume it's that. Now, I would assume Schlottermeier is a compound surname. Meier is essentially the term for bailiff in many parts of Germany, and as a result has become incorporated into many surnames. Thus, I assume Schlotter is some town, and Meier would be a historical bailiff of said town, Schlottermeier therefore being a surname. This goes in well with the next one, Bayerhund which it's spelled B-E-I-H-E-R-H-U-N-D. However, it sounds like Bayer, B-A-Y-E-R, Hund, Bavarian dog. Remember how I said that this could be a cultural joke? Yeah. Okay, flipper vault. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Vault is forest. Other than that, no clue. Flipper is just, uh, yeah, that's a joke. However, the last word in the joke, gersput, sounds kind of like gespringt, which is the past participle of to jump in German. So, when we put it all together, we get something along the lines of, when is the lunchtime, there is Schlottermeier. Yes, Bavarian dog, the odor flipper forest jumped, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So if we mess around with the grammar a little bit, we get something more along the lines of, when it's lunchtime, then Schlottermeier, the Bavarian dog, will jump over the flipper forest to the odor. Essentially meaning that Bavarians are hungry and will do anything to get their meal. There is some Monty Python evidence that supports this as a reconstructed form of the joke. Mainly that Monty Python had experience working in Bavarian culture. We know this because of a two-season show they produced called Monty Python's Fliegende Zirkus, a version of Monty Python produced in Germany for German audiences. Most of the original skits that are featured in it regard Bavarian culture, including the lumberjack song with the Austrian border police and the Bavarian restaurants. 
That is why I think the killer joke is a cultural joke regarding Bavarian food habits. Thank you for watching. This video was made possible by my patrons, with special thanks to Kiranik, Agmashwa, and Office Gobble. If you enjoy my work, please consider subscribing and or supporting me on Patreon. Bye.